Hey guys, Chris here today. Uh, I had a request from a viewer to make an alcohol stove. And I had been messing around with, I had a couple tea lights I got the other day I was messing around with and making a couple little stoves out of some tea lights. So I'll show you that in a separate video unless I have some time in this one. And uh, so, first things you're going to need is a pair of scissors. JB Weld is optional. I like to use JB Weld because I've had a few build up pressure and pop off on me. So I like to use those. That stapler, two cans. You, you might have a third in the backup in case you ruin one of them or mess it up. Heat as your fuel. I recommend heat. Don't use anything else unless it's denatured alcohol that's not heat. So you're going to need a sharpie, a pair of scissors, and the rest. Next, you're going to want to take your sharpie. I have mine on about an inch block of wood. Oh yeah, you're going to need a measuring tape too. This just makes it easier to tape it down. Measure, this just happens to be under a half inch. You're going to want to make that about a half inch. So I'm going to use something as a wedge up underneath this to try to get it up to an inch and a half. And that's just about an inch and a half. I can push this down a little bit because it kind of molds to it. That's just about an inch and a half. And that's what you're going to want this to here that, these two cans, you're going to want them both an inch and a half. So you take your can and you just trace around with your Sharpie. And you want to do this to both cans. Next you're going to want to cut your can. You want to be a little, a little careful. Go around. Your scissors will cut a different way depending on which way you turn them. Be a little careful when you cut this because you're going to want to save a piece of this to make your middle section out of. That'll be about an inch and a quarter. Okay, so we got that done. If your stuff ends up being a little crinkled and not round, like this, I already took this and did this little thing with it, you can take another can Put a little water around it, make sure you can slide it around pretty good. Then you can kind of mold it right back in this shape. Don't press down too much because you don't want to get it stuck on it. So then you go from there and you take this can that you had the good stuff on, you cut right along this little curved rim. Okay, next you're going to get this good piece that you have. I have a template that I've already had because I've made so many of these. But, put my template down. Let's take my Sharpie. Trace it. Once you get that trace, you want to cut that. Okay, you might be able to see I did trim it up but I left just a little bit above the rim. That makes sure that this rim meets up with the middle just like this meets up with the bottom. So what I'm going to do next is take some needle nose pliers. Needle nose pliers and crimp the insides. Crimp it the same way all the way around, about a quarter of an inch down. You can see what I'm doing there. What it does is it pulls everything so it faces in a little bit. It'll give you some clearance when you try to put or made it with your uh, other can. So I'll be back with you after I get this crimped. Alright, so I got this crimped all the way around. You just got to make sure it fits right in here. I usually just press mine down just a little bit 
so it goes past the crimps. And then I use a little bit of JB Weld. And I take a bottle cap right here and put just a little just a drop, just about a little glob of this, a little glob of that. And then you mix it up with the toothpick until it's a really good gray color right here. And I'll show you that when I get it done and pressed in. What you want to do next is you want to, you want to get that all around there. You want to take, I usually take a little 2x4 but I don't have one with me right now. I had one but I think I used it for something. And then I take my hammer and I lightly start tapping it down. Get it down, you'll see it. Just kind of look at it a little bit, make sure it's straight tap on one side and then lightly press down you'll kind of feel it kind of rock it a little bit you can also shake it and if you hear that little um, thing in there it'll start clinking around you hear it right there it's not down low enough so you want to take it if it starts getting a little hard to press down that's when you want to take this and just start tapping it down. You don't want to go too far. I messed one up earlier doing this. So you want to be kind of careful when you get here because it gets real tight and if you screw it up, you screw it up. 